There's no shortage of plastic waste in the chronically polluted Philippines. But now one company, Hologreen Technology and Resources, is putting the waste plastic to good use by turning it into fuel. Much of the plastic comes from Manila's mountainous Payatas landfill, where the city's poorest residents eke out a living collecting and selling the trash. It ends up at Paula Green's plant nearby, where founder Jamie Navarro exposes it to a process called pyrolysis. By pyrolysis, we, we can decompose plastic into, into diesel, gasoline, and kerosene. Navarro says the process is simple. First, plastic waste is placed on a conveyor belt for shredding and drying. Then it's put into an airtight thermal chamber for decomposition. Inside, the granulated plastic gets melted into vapors that are distilled into this, a golden liquid that is chemically identical to regular fuel. Only it's better, says the company, as pollutants from the incineration process are minimal, and the quality of the fuel is cleaner due to its low sulfur content. It's also 10 to 20 percent cheaper than regular fuel because of large supply of plastic waste and lower production cost. Right now, the plastic fuel is approved for industrial use and is being tested for vehicles with promising results. This one factory can produce around 1,600 liters of fuel from two metric tons of plastic waste daily. In Manila alone, 10 million people produce an estimated 6,000 tons of trash a day. While plastic fuel technology isn't anything new, Navarro believes that an industrial-scale version of his technology could not only help drivers on the road, but help the country dig itself out of its trash problem. Ellie Park, Reuters.